Just when we thought we've had enough celebrity deaths this 2020, August shocked Marvel fans around the world when this Instagram post was shared on Chadwick Boseman's account. After a four-year battle with colon cancer, Chadwick Boseman passed away at the age of 43. Despite fan speculations when photos and videos of a much thinner Chad circulated earlier this year, Chad chose to ease fans' worries and keep his illness private. This led to fans assuming that the weight loss was simply in preparation for a role. Because of this, the news of his passing last August 28 came as a huge shock to everyone. Though he was gone too soon and only started appearing in movies in 2008, he sure made the most of his time on screen. Today, we are paying tribute to Chadwick Boseman's acting genius, passion, and gravitas as we review the gallery of movies that he left behind as his legacy. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. On this episode, let us look back and rank all the roles that Chadwick Boseman has ever played in his films. Hang around till the end of this video as the number one role may not be what you were expecting. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more of our videos. We are starting off with this list with Thoth in Gods of Egypt at number 11. Perhaps Chadwick Boseman's only slip up, Alex Proyas' Gods of Egypt wasn't well received by many critics. Called by some as a legendarily bad film, it was riddled with bad CGI, unconvincing dialogue, and clearly non-Egyptian actors playing Egyptians. Bozeman played the role of Thoth. The Egyptian god of writing, wisdom, magic, and the moon. Here, he does whatever it takes to keep set, played by Jared Butler, on the throne. While Chadwick didn't do all too bad in playing the part, his character just floated through the film, not really doing or saying much. Were you surprised to find this movie in the last spot? Just wait till we reveal what's in number one. But before that, at number 10, Floyd Little in The Express, the Ernie Davis story. Just like in Gods of Egypt, Chadwick played a supporting role in the 2008 biopic, The Express. Appearing for the first time in the film, Bozeman played the role of Floyd Little, a halfback who was the sixth overall draft during the very first AFL-NFL draft in 1967. The film was an earnest and effective take on the collegiate career of Ernie Davis and became the first of many biopics that featured Chadwick Bozeman. Speaking of NFL drafts, at number 9, we have Von Mack in Draft Day, playing opposite Kevin Costner. Bozeman played the role of a highly recruited Ohio State linebacker who was known more for his attitude and his tweeting than his playing. As the Cleveland Browns general manager, Sonny Weaver struggles with the decision of either drafting him or a flaky quarterback. Vontae Mack waits with anticipation to see what team will take him. Although not one of his most beloved films, Draft Day allowed Boseman to showcase his acting prowess, showing audiences just how much he could influence even in a supporting role. This dramedy dose had its cheesy moments, but Boseman gave so much truth to Mac's role that it can be difficult to hold back the chills and tears when he gets the call that will forever change his life. At number 8, Lieutenant Samuel Drake from the movie The Kill Hole. The Kill Hole is a gripping meditation on war and the scars it leaves behind. In this 2012 action film, Chadwick stars as Iraq veteran Samuel Drake, who is forced to face the violent past he's been trying so hard to reconcile with. As he tries to confront the demons he cannot escape, Sam is later coerced by war merchants into a mission to hunt down and kill a fellow soldier, Sergeant Devon Carter. Despite its unusual plot, Bozeman was able to deliver an utterly compelling performance that was exactly what the role demanded. Moving on from veteran to NYPD cop, at number 7, Andre Davis from 21 Bridges. 
This 2019 action thriller directed by Brian Kirk stars Bozeman as an NYPD cop who shut down all of Manhattan's 21 bridges as he hunts down the top cop killers. While in pursuit of these two suspects, he uncovers conspiracies that makes him question the very people he works with. In 21 Bridges, we get to see an unhinged officer bent for revenge, a role he did not really expect to see Bozeman in. But as he witnessed his swaggering lone wolf character unspool as an embattled detective, we see how Bozeman shown in this twisty robbery mystery that would have made for an awesome franchise had they decided to set up a sequel. We're almost halfway through the list. Has your favorite made it to the countdown yet? Stick around because you're gonna want to know which movie made it to number one and why it deserves that spot. Back to our list. At number six, Jacob King and Message from the King. Available to stream on Netflix, this revenge action thriller stars a violent, vengeful Chadwick Boseman who goes full-on Equalizer X Brian Mills. Here, he plays the part of South African Jacob King, a man who sets out for Los Angeles in a desperate attempt to unravel the mystery surrounding his younger sister's disappearance. Playing alongside stars like Luke Evans, Alfred Molina, Tom Felton, and Teresa Palmer, Chadwick Boseman showed how he could give an emotionally potent edge that is not too common in his genre. And yet another Netflix film, at number 5, Norman Earl Holloway in The Five Blood. Although he wasn't the main character, in this 2020 Spike Lee film, Chadwick Boseman's short but unforgettable screen time was every bit as impactful as the other characters in the film. Here, he plays the role of Norman Earl, aka Stormin Norm, who, much like Chad, was taken too early from the people who loved and looked up to him. Stormin Norm's presence was so haunting and powerful that it basically defines the arc of the entire movie. Bozeman was brilliant in conveying an emotional crescendo that shadowed over the film's entirety, even when he wasn't on screen anymore. The Five Blood is his final film that was released before his death. Moving on to our number four spot, James Brown from Get On Up. From Jacob King to King of Souls, Bozeman showed his ability to transform into anyone, especially when starring in biopics. In Get On Up, Bozeman shown as he breathed life to James Brown in a non-linear account of the life of the godfather of soul music. To give justice to his larger-than-life personality, Bozeman did more than just an impression and fully immersed himself in the role. He trained tirelessly to channel the rule-breaking, ridiculously colorful music giant, spending two months learning how to sing and sometimes training five to eight hours a day just to get all the dance moves right. His portrayal was so convincing that when he was on set, people would refer to him as Mr. Brown. It was also because of this film that, when he was not even nominated for Best Actor in the 2014 Academy Awards, the hashtag Oscar so white backlash was launched and the Academy was eventually pushed to support diversity. Making it to our top three is Thurgood Marshall from the movie Marshall. In yet another biopic, Bozeman continues to honor another American giant, this time as the first ever African-American lawyer to be appointed to the Supreme Court. Here, Bozeman steps into the shoes of the dedicated NCAAP lawyer, showing with quiet confidence the young Marshall's early days, from trying a case in Connecticut to facing difficult decisions in his journey to success. Oh, and here's another quick trivia. Did you know that both Chadwick Boseman and Thurgood Marshall attended Howard University? Cool, right? Speaking of cool, next up is a cool superhero that will forever be synonymous with his name. At number two, King T'Challa and Black Panther from Captain America, Civil War, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame. After having suited up as the Black Panther in four MCU movies, it is difficult to think of any other actor to play the part. In fact, this was already the case for the Marvel Studios. 
which did not even have Bozeman edition for the part. They just knew that he was the perfect man for the job, and they were right. Although he was undeniably great in his smaller parts in the Captain America and Avengers films, it was his record-breaking, universally loved standalone movie, Black Panther, that proved that the commercial viability of a mainstream, big-budgeted superhero film that celebrates African heritage. It just makes perfect sense, therefore, that after Thanos' snap was reversed in Endgame, the creative team decided that Black Panther should be the first hero to show up. If you watch the movie in theaters, then you'd remember how this was one of the most powerful moments in the MCU, during which the audience would erupt in cheers and applause, a testament to the power and influence of Bozeman. Truly, Chadwick Boseman's star continues to live on, after having given children of all races a hero they can look up to. If it wasn't King T'Challa, which Chadwick Boseman role made it to number one? That's Jackie Robinson from the movie 42. It may not be his most popular, but it'd be hard to argue a more important role that Chad has portrayed than Jackie Robinson in the Brian Helgeland film 42. This 2013 biopic chronicles the riveting journey of Jackie Robinson, the first ever African American to play in Major League Baseball. Set in 1947, at a time when institutional racism was rampant, Jackie Robinson's gratefulness quickly turns to anguish when he learns firsthand the price that comes with breaking through the MLB's notorious color barrier. When Branch Rickey, played by Harrison Ford, signed Robinson to the Brooklyn Dodgers, the two are put in the firing line of the public. Despite the open racism from the press, his team, opposing players and baseball fans, Robinson showed true courage and admirable restraint. Instead of reacting to all the hate, he simply allowed his immense talent to silence the critics and allowed them to consider breaking down the decades of segregation in the game. In a cruel twist of fate, seven years after portraying Robinson himself, Bozeman passed away on the same day as MLB's Jackie Robinson Day during which all players wear the number 42 as tribute to this legend. Which of these Chadwick Boseman films is your favorite and what kind of impact did he leave on you? Talk about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Bestest and make sure to hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.